Cheers, everybody. Good morning and welcome to day two of the Recruitment and Retention Conference and the Driver Recruiting Happy Hour podcast, our first ever live version. My name is Darren Williams. I'm the president of CDLjobs.com. With me, as always, is my co-host, the president of 10-4 Recruiting, and a man who just last night signed a recording contract with MCA Nashville, Matt Beach. That is true. Matt Beach, congratulations. Thank Sing the people a little bit of the song and maybe the money. It is a very that's what they went with for the That's all they wanted. Matt Beach, new Nashville recording artist. That was it. So, Matthew, we had a talk yesterday about coming in here later, being ready for this. How did that go? So I literally woke up and took a big deep breath as soon as my eyes opened the pillow and I'm like, and that's how exactly how I ended up down here. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know how to put my shoes on. I swear to you. But you're not late. You look fine. I like. Right. I feel good. I mean, I look handsome. I know that. And yeah. I know I'm ready for this. You've got a big day today. You've got a right as, as soon as we're done with this. You've got a, a round table to, to attend. I have no idea. No idea. I think so. Good. So we I think I, I think so. Yes. So yes. you're gonna want to go to the Matt Beach session for sure. See how that goes. Yes. Yeah. Did you have anything to do yesterday? You know, someone, I heard someone out here earlier say Nashville. Nashville won last night. They did. But you, had, you had a little bit too much Nashville. No, yeah, a little too but you have to. I think that you're, even if it's your first time in, it's not that, it, this is not my first time in Nashville. It's that people who have, this is their first time looking at me go, Matt, what's Nashville? And I'm like, are you sure? They're asking a man from Saudi Daisy. Saudi Daisy. What to do in Nashville? What to do? <laughs> What is national? I, I, I can I can raise your hand if you last night. There's not me. Because you what night? I don't. I lost in the national. <laughs> people who were out last night. And that's what you do. You get lost in it. Anybody who was with Beach last night is not here today. Well, I mean, there's if there's a some oh, man, there's people on there. There's a group right there. Right. Yeah. Cali, yeah. If there, there is some man that nobody raised their hand. Yeah, they're finally waking up here. Look, they're, they're like me right now. Is there a Samantha Lee out there? If Samantha Lee ends up showing up, I have your name tag. Somehow, I have your name tag right now. Now, if you can swallow, you will win a, a, a mega prize if you do find this. <laughs> or by, wherever my name tag is. I didn't know the mega prize. And you're welcome, Samantha, for getting called out in front of everybody. That's true. That's true. You know, our, our rise, the, the podcast has brought us to new heights of popularity. That's huge. I mean, two we million. Imagine right now, two million followers live. That's a lie, but still, that's it's, it's a dream. That's not true, but that you know, <laughs> nobody's going to look it up. <laughs> yeah, the last night, about the time everybody was getting home, yeah. there was a knock on my door. What, what time? Degrees. What time was the knock on your door? Knocking on my door, then louder knock, and then some scratching and hollering. I'm telling you what, about, I got so tired of it at about three o'clock, I got up and let her out. Bro. <laughs> you didn't see that coming. <laughs> That's so bad. Well, here's what we're here for. We That's are. So we are. Bad. Yeah, we're not yeah. going to look at you. We are introducing the three finalists for the Transport Topics Recruiting Professional of the Year. And these people are way excited to come up here. They really chomping at the bit. Chomping at the bit. Scratching down the door to get here. In no particular order, we are going to bring them up here. We're going to start. I'm gonna I'm gonna say their title and see if Beach can guess who it is. So the first one we're bringing up is some of these titles are wrong. This is the Vice President of Enterprise Capacity Development. Good Lord, it's a lot. Say it one more time. The Vice President of Enterprise Capacity Development. Matt Duncan. No. Oh gosh. <laughs> is he out? There? Vice President of Inter, 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 Interstellar Capacity Inter, Enterprise Development. Capacity Development at PS Logistics. It's Kim Dangle. Kim Dangle, everyone. Kim, come on. I mean, that's that's a twenty dollar handle, Kim. <laughs> she carries around really big business cards. No, no joke. They like fold a poster board business card. They fold out. And you are well. I say it one more time. The Vice President of Enterprise Capacity Development. V. 
E-P-I-C-E-D. E-C-D. E-P-I-C-D. Next is the Vice President of Enterprise Driver Recruiting and Talent Acquisition. Good, are you serious? Yeah. Say it one more time. What are you all doing with your Vice titles? President of Enterprise Driver Recruiting and Talent Acquisition. This is a guy that lives pretty close to you. I'm well, going to that guy. Yeah, that's got to be Matt Duncan. Yeah, that's Matt Duncan. Matt, we're coming. I got one. We got one clap. He's not. Where's he at? There he is. Look how you're dressed up, man. You're wearing shoes. You finally got a blazer on. You look good. Just I'm happy. That's the uh, same. What was his version of dress up? You're wearing shoes. But what was his title? Again, vice president. He's the vice president of enterprise driver recruiting and talent acquisition. Is that like a thing now? Where it's a lot of. Yeah, thanks. Oh my gosh. All right, what's the next one? And last but not least, this one seems kind of simple. Vice President of Driver Recruiting. Now that has got to be Melissa. Melissa says regular business cards. <laughs> and this is Melissa Nishan with X Transport. There she is. Thank you for for making it easy. That that's exactly what I love. What she is, Vice President of Recruiting. But not not the not your titles. It's not. I mean, but that's what we wanted to do. But <laughs> all right. So, first of all, congratulations. Uh, quite an honor. We did a little bit of research on our own and went back and kind of asked some people to, to learn a little bit about each other. And Matt, we have you quoted at 11 years old and saying there's no way I lose to a girl. How do you feel about that today? Unfortunately, um, it's happened for quite a bit. It's happened since you were 11, you yeah, lost your girls. So that's no longer a commitment. No, 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 longer, no, no longer a life mantra that I don't lose your girls. Yeah, very true. All right. No, it's perfect. I'm telling you. You would be okay. So, how did you find out you were selected? I got an email. You got an email, not Wait a minute. How did you find out about what that you are and about happy hour? We're fine with that. Literally, I just told us like you can never do it. You want to be part of this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't know this was part of the deal. Yeah, yeah. 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 We also yeah. yeah. We lose a lot of guests that way. <laughs> but how did you find out about what? How did you find out you were fine with Well, that was the process. Was there a talent portion? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the singing, twirling, dancing. Yeah, I think you know, I'm surprised you can play for a major award. Nice. When I think of like a major award, I still go back to, was it? Uh, Christmas story. Christmas story. It's a major award. It's a major award. Nice. What do you get as the winner? Yeah, what do you get? You get Hopefully you win a new title. I like that. I'm hoping that's something that they have to completely change. <laughs> Make it a little bit easier. Somebody's getting twenty thousand dollars today, right? Somebody's getting twenty thousand dollars. No, I think whoever wins it. There's a random draw. Yeah, yeah. I have to split it up. So this is a note to whoever might win that twenty thousand dollars. These three people are very deserving. That's true. That's true. How did you? Uh, so serious question. How did you get into? How did you, how did you get into driver? Uh, I fell into it really. Actually, before, and they're like, You want to try to do driver recruiting? You want to do driver recruiting? I'm like, Sure. What were we doing? Where were we doing? Like, in the actual shop and stuff? Yeah, just running the breakout room. Oh, nice. And then you say, Hey, we're. we're. Matt looks like he's a group. Yeah, and this is a. He went past the. And now, we need to add some president. Main is gotta be in time, so you gotta put that like I mean you can yeah, you can make your own time. I mean that's you guys can make your own time. Kim, how did you get into it? Um I came to recruiting through HR. So I started off uh, in HR and IT actually and um, yeah and uh, eventually got into recruiting and uh, really loved it. So that was my journey. I moved to North Carolina when I was 20 years old and couldn't find a job and applied at a tennis service. <laughs> they asked me, they, they called me and said, how would you like to answer the phone?
phones at a trucking company. And I'm not going to repeat the words I said. <laughs> but I took it. Have you ever, how long have you been in this business? I'm talking about the trucking industry as a whole. How long have you been in I started at Heartland Express in 1993. 1993. Before you were born. Sure. Are you kidding me? I, I have, someone asked me last time, like, how old, how old, how, how old? And I was like, I forgot a lot about this much. Because I used to tell people, so I remember when I was 40, I would tell people that I was not. Because I wanted people to go, God, you look, you look good to me. <laughs> just to get a comment. I was just like, just trying to do whatever I could to get a comment. And now I have no idea. Really. Well, you look, Average for that age. I, I feel very really much tall. Well, I, I, I think I look really good. You look good for a guy like you. That's true. That's fine. I'm going to take two hours to see. All right, so here's a good question. I think it's a good question. Why? What? What? Uh, what is one thing that you would say sums up? Not one thing, but how would you sum up a raw drop? You're asking for one just, word. Not like, one word, just uh, like you said. Like, how would you say that? I probably should have said it. Throw it on the all. Yeah, yeah, that's a good thing. Tough, fun. Describing yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and, <laughs> I mean, we get the opportunity to every day, our hour crews in our department get, departments get the opportunity to place a drive here, you know, something that can be life changing. So I'm, the people aspect of it, I enjoy it a lot. Yeah, what about you? Yeah, I think uh, fast-paced, um, and and there's a lot of um, immediate, uh, you, can, you can see your progress every day, so I like that a lot. There's never a same day. The, the, there's never the, 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 the next day's going to be the same day. Never. You know, most of the budget. An unexplainable roller coaster ride. <laughs> That might, that might be the best description I've ever heard. Like, right now, I feel like the world. And that's what Nashville did to me last night, that right now, as I was sitting here. I'm thinking, you constantly feel like you're just about to go over. Yeah, it's about to be. Like, yeah, I got a lot this morning. This morning, she really went. You know what she did? Like, she could hear it in my face. How do each of you deal with, and this is a serious question, we do it once in a while. Yeah. Um, in recruiting, recruiting is the only department in any trucking company that never has an end goal. Right? When you reach that goal, you make an end goal. Or we, you reach the goal this week and you start all over again on Monday. How do you motivate recruiters on a week to week basis, on a month to month basis, on a goal that they just, you know, it's a, it's a tough game?
72 members. 70, 72 members. And that includes styrofoam members. How big was this crowd? It's horrible. It was, I mean, you took a shrimp up, you got 72 members. Can you imagine that? And everybody, no, you're dead or dead. 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 That's a remarkably uninteresting story to share with you. Yeah, they are. Well, I mean, that's the right now. A question later on is how many people do this? This is Matt Bash. We have our Matt Bash. First person to answer on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> when does he get into it? <laughs> well, folks, these, you get to see these people again. They're up on stage later. I think it's at what, 12 30 or 11 30? Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. During the post, you're going to be live. We'll have to check that out. If you're not here, we don't know. Just so you know. You have to be here to know about this. So again, thanks for playing along with us. Uh, another round of applause here for our three recruiting professional year finalists. Okay. And thank you. You can catch our podcast on any of your favorite streaming devices. Um, until the next time, thanks a lot.